Well, hello there. This is Mr. Dumner. This this channel is a brand new channel. It's gonna be all about technology, mostly computers. Sometimes about iPhones, eye touches, maybe. Um, anything from a PS3 to a video gaming system, maybe even a VCR. <laughs> nah, probably not. All right. So today I'm gonna teach you how to install Mac OS X No Leopard on a PC. You're gonna need five things to do this. You're gonna need CPU ID. I'll tell you why in just a few bits seconds. You're gonna have to wait. CD burner XP for burning the ISO for the Mac OS X system for to make it a CD. Then you're gonna download MuTorrent to download the system ISO, and you're gonna need EA EAC's partition map. No, I'm pretty, pro I pronounced that wrong. You're gonna need that program to make a partition for the Mac OS X system. I'm gonna have all the links in the description so you don't have to worry about anything, literally anything. Once you download the ISO, it should take about four hours on a normal internet connection. Uh, mine is still downloading because I just started not long ago. Um, once you start downloading, then you're gonna wanna go and check your system requirements if your system is capable of running Mac OS X, no leopard. Or well, right now, you're gonna see the screen and it's gonna tell you what you need to have. You're gonna need to have a mouse and USB mouse and keyboard, which have to be wired. You're gonna have to have ATI or NVIDIA graphics card. That must that's a must have because or else it won't work. You you have to have at least one gig of RAM. Uh most computers standard have four gigs of RAM, so that's not you don't have to worry about that. You have to have an AMD or Intel SSE two and or an SSE three. And this is why CPU ID comes in handy right now. So free everything here is basically free. So you don't have to worry about that you have to pay for something or yeah, all about that. So after CPU ID opens up, it shows you all about your processor, your main board, I mean your motherboard, your memory and then graphics and everything. Yada yada yada. Whatever, whatever. So what you're gonna want oh god, why did it just move? What you're gonna want to look at is your instructions. And here it says SSE and it looks one, two, and three. You're gonna want to see if you have two and or three. I have all of them, so that means I'm all set. But if you have only one and you don't have the two and three, that means it's not gonna work. If you have two, it's gonna work. If you have three, it's gonna work. If you don't have anything, <laughs> then you you should click off this video right now. You're gonna have to have at least one gig of RAM. I already said that. You're gonna have to have an NVIDIA or an ATI. If you don't, it's not gonna work. All right. Next thing you're going to want to do is make a partition for your drive. So you can put Mac OS X on it so it doesn't combine with your Windows and make it all complicated. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is right click on your main partition, which should be the C drive for most of you, and then click resize and move. Then change this little thing, and here you're looking at how much space you're giving. I'm going to give my Mac OS X system 30, 30, uh, 30, 30. 30 gigs. You should give yours at least 15. I'm just going to give it 30. Um, actually, no, 50. That's just my preference. I'll give it 50. You have to have at least 15. All right. Then you click OK. Locking in volume C. All right. This can't break your hard drive in any kind of way, so don't worry. All right. Then right click the unlocated space that you have and click create. Once you do that, what? Why is it? 30 God, whatever. 31. Create. And then you want to label it as Mac OS X. Well, you don't have to necessarily, but you can. And you're going to want to create this as a primary parti partition. Then you're going to want to choose unformatted for the file system. And then I'm going to choose the drive letter for P for Peggy. You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it for, some, for no reason. You're going to want to click OK. Then, you're going to want to click Apply at the top right here. And then, you have to shut down your system. So, I guess, after you do this, then you're going to have a new partition. And that's part two for my video. Alright, so see you in the next part.